In this problem, we have two different planets that are different distances away from a star, and we want to find a ratio for their speeds based on those distances. So the first thing we want to do is get a formula for that speed. So I'm going to use Newton's universal law of gravitation, big G over uh, multiplied by the two different Gs uh, over R squared, and since this is presumably the only forces acting between the planets. This is the same thing as the net force on each of the planets. So by Newton's second law, it's equal to ma, except since we're talking about a centripetal acceleration, this a can be written as v squared over r. And now some simplification can be done here, like this r can be canceled out, so can the small m be. So we're just left with big G times GM, the mass of the star, over R is equal to V squared. So our formula for V then can be written as the square root of big, of big G times big M over R. So if you want to take a ratio here, let's say that a ratio V sub A over V sub B is equal to uh, and we're just going to write that equation again, except for the different ex except for the different radiuses. So I'm going to use r sub a to re to refer to the distance between planet A and the star, and then for v sub b, I'm going to use r sub b to refer to the distance between planet B and the star. So in this ratio here, we can immediately cancel out gm since uh, the GM is in both the numerator and the denominator, and they can cancel out pretty easily. So we're left with the square root of 1 over RA to the square root of 1 over RB. And because of the way this is set up now, we can, we can simplify it. We can make this look much prettier by flipping it. So instead, I'll write it as equal to the square root of RB over RA. And now this is as simplified as we can get it. So now all that's really left for us to do is take advantage of the ratio. So for this particular case, since it says planet A is seven times farther away than planet B, we don't actually need to know what those, what the actual distances are. But since this formula is set up as a ratio, the fact that there is a seven factor is all we need. We can just use one for R sub B and seven for R sub A and it's equivalent if r sub a is 7 times r sub b. And if you put that into our calculator, we find that the ratio is equal to about 0 times or 0 0.38. And this is the ratio that we want. So really that's it. That's all for this problem. If this video helped you out, please consider subscribing as it'll help me make more videos like this. But if um, there's something that you didn't understand or you have any questions, leave a comment down below and I'll try to help you out as best as I can. But that's all for now, and I hope you have a lovely day. Bye-bye.